All right, so the ban list just dropped like a few hours ago. And as we can see, uh, Sprite Elf got banned along with Tyr getting like destroyed. And basically we're heading into a completely brand new uh, format. So I've been hearing things about how like Sprite is like completely dead and people are gonna move on to playing their other decks. But um, I was doing a little bit of brainstorming for the past like few hours since the ban list dropped, and I think this deck is very much alive, if not in a top three uh, deck for the upcoming format, just behind Tier and Cash Tira. Uh, I'm gonna be going over why I think this deck is like a topping contender, and then kind of go over the card choices and the theories behind this deck. And I think it's pretty well positioned. Also, I'll be providing a combo towards the end using very generic cards. Because I think in this deck, uh, there's so many two-card, three-card combos that don't even require specific cards. Like, you can open any two rooted cards, plus like a beaver or blue or starter or any level two. And that's still like full combo. And the combos get better if you open just better cards than your two or three-card combos. So I will be showing you guys very generic combos, but let's go into the explanation behind the deck right now. All right, so quick overview. Let's, sit. let's go with the uh, three destruction, three uh, flashing fire, three freezing curses, three tips, three slumbers, a uh, storm, and a dispelling with the two fountains. So this is a bigger runic sprite deck. I think uh, if you're going to play runic sprite, you got to play a bunch of runics because two runic cards together is complete is a full combo on top of uh it just being generically very good like the reason why the runic cards are good good is because they can recur themselves if you have to play a runic card without getting like your fountain uh, pluses it's not very good so you have to play a higher uh, account and i think now is like the best time to play a higher account because tier got hit so there isn't really a deck out there that uh, does anything crazy in terms of like uh first turn boards like the cash tier ends on a pretty good board but i wouldn't say that's like game ending like tier limits now with like their soliax planet up with a uh, rukalos elf uh so now like these cards being able to trade one for ones is like extremely extremely powerful even into like small boards of like two to three negates like for example i think a lot of people will play like sword soul uh these cards are amazing in sword soul flashing fire freezing curses like all these cards are very very good right now very good for the deck very good against like uh, uh mid-range type decks so that's for the runics and then played sprite engine played obviously three blues didn't get hit comes an ulti let's go baby <laughs> and then we got the two jets two uh starters i kind of want to play more but in sakes uh in the sake of uh having less cards and like room uh, i had to cut them down but these can go up in the future i don't hate going over 40 in this deck but we are still experimenting with that so right now i got the two jets two starters uh one smashers i mean the theory <coughs> just a touch on the starter the theory is that like you draw so many cards in this deck that you don't want to see multiples of once returns so that's why it's two starters but in the end in the end this card just might be the best card in the deck so it could be just at three uh but we'll see about that and then we got the red carrot obviously the wind up kitten uh very generic out because now we don't have elf so we're using we're usually summoning gigantic a lot to like get our engine started and like just playing through cards uh so having the wind up kitten just to like summon off the gigantic is like pretty pretty nice and then it's also pretty good because we do play the mannequin cat so at times like when they summon the earth pretty much fenrir uh we can just summon a kitten from our deck which is like pretty funny as well <laughs> and then three swaps and anglers and you might be wondering why we play swap frog because elf just got banned but i will be showing the combo at the end it, re it uh involves using this card i'm sure if you guys seen it already but it this card is like really nice in this deck actually because it makes it very very well uh so we still have our toad engine so like i'll show you a quick generic combo on that at the end stick around for that or you can skip there and then the beaver engine because uh there's a combo that goes through sprint and i think having sprint as an interruption is also is really good on top of it just being a combo uh so there are some builds where like you can go like sprint send like iperia or cap shell to like get a draw but i think sending angler to summon two beavers is just too broken and having beavers in your deck means you just have more starters uh, they do kind of conflict with the normal summons because you are playing Lava Golem. Uh, but I think it's fine because if you go second and you Lava Golem them, you can always discard these for the Runic cards. So they're not like actually a big deal. But uh, having them in your deck is like really, really powerful. And just making your consistency better is like really good as well. Uh, so that's the main deck. 
uh and then we got side deck so three artifact lands here yeah, this card is amazing against cashtera they can't um you use it right away they can't use their prosperities they can't uh mind hacker they can't use any of these cards to get rid of your extra deck so this card is very good on top of that i think when you're playing this deck um the only card you really lose to if, when you full combo is evenly because you are putting a lot of cards out there including like your fountains face up so you don't want them to evenly you and you lose everything especially when evenly gets paired with like another card like a dark ruler or something it is pretty nasty if uh they can resolve it so landscape being good against cash and also like if you go first against cashira and you draw lancia it's like you stop their evenly their prosperities and then you also just stop their engine so they can't like even play that much they can't play efficiently and they can't evenly you e either so it's like it just does a dual purpose so uh, this card's like amazing um and then we got two sphere modes to go on top of the lava golem so when i go second i kind of side out the normal summons and then instead of playing into the, the thrust things the tactics and like all these like uh cards that are out right now i think runic can play these cards the best right and they play around everything in the process so like being able to lava golem kashtira tier and then having like two more copies when you go into side deck is like even better and like it's super uh good in this deck i think because like if you want to play around lava golems or sphere modes you typically have to end on like one monster right but then like if you end on one monster you're just losing to flashing fires and freezing curses so it's like uh they kind of have to um play into it so like it's it's really really nice in this deck then we got the end of anubis for the mannequin cat if you're playing against tier you can side this in instead of ending on um the bujin to make your toad you can end on anubis instead uh and i think that's a lot better against a uh, tier limit so it's a really nice exchange just because i think a lot of people are going to play non-tier decks and start of the new format especially since like a lot of new players or not new players but returning players are coming back now since they believe tier is uh gone because of all the hits personally i don't think it's gone but tier did get a big hit so i think people playing it will be a lot less so i don't want to main this card but it is in the side because it is really really good and i'm still gonna respect uh tier limits uh, resonator because you're playing runic deck so it is pretty slow so you need uh this tuner for like extenders and then we got three copies of uh, eradicator so a deck that i think is going to be kind of sleeper in the start of a new format are two stun decks so it's runic stun this deck but you know in stun form and the labyrinth deck because labyrinth is getting new support in post photon hypernova and it did not get touched on the ban list at all uh i mean for good reason it doesn't top and they're going on trying to push out these uh trap decks so i wanted the uh this card super generic card eradicator has been played in runic sprite before but it's just game ending against any trap deck you play against when you go first second doesn't matter you just side this in call traps call whatever a spell you play against any like high spell deck even if you play against the mirror match in this deck which i think some people are gonna play you just eradicate it, it's instantly game uh they don't expect it because you know most people nowadays don't play any back row move or any type of form like that they'll always try to set a bunch of cards on you you flip eradicator it's so generic because uh if you all you need is a runic card and any level two you just make gigantic sprite it's like super free even if it gets impermanence uh it's still live because it just goes back to the next turn and then you can eradicate them super good uh i recommend everyone to be playing this card in the next upcoming format because you never know what people are going to be playing at the start of the new format and then double evenly matched um another card for stun decks another card for kashtira uh, just generic card very good um yeah I, I still think this is really good on top of the lava golems and uh sphere mode uh because uh you have one more copies so that's also really nice and then number two uh it's good against trap deck so it's really nice and three impermanence which is the only um hand trap in this deck at all because it has no flaws and it's just really really good and also it can stop like floodgate monsters like people might play like inspector border next format and uh i don't know they'll find a way to summon newman off mannequin cat or something uh so this card is like still really good it has no flaws it just doesn't lose the call but doesn't lose the herald doesn't lose the thrusting tasking or same thing talents i mean uh so this card's like really really nice uh, and then for the extra deck uh we got three hugan and then one of the jerry very good and then these generic links which is sprint this these are really nice in this deck because you have um the rooted cards and you draw a lot of cards so it's pretty free dark two gigantic the gin buster which you make when you have a really broken hand a mannequin cat for the anubis soul sweeper and then the totally awesome so yeah that's the deck list we'll go over some of the combos i'll try to make the combos very generic uh but uh, i think this deck is very good and i'll show you why 
uh, with these very generic combos right now. All right, so for the first combo, I'm going to show you guys Beaver with two Runic cards. And I picked the worst ones just to show you guys like the combo still works even if you open like the Bricky Runic cards. Obviously, this combo gets a lot better if these are like tips, you know, <laughs> and stuff like that so that you can draw like extra cards and have like specific cards. But for the purpose of this video, I'll show you guys the weakest possible combo just to show you guys how like this deck functions even if you draw like a subpar hand. And these Lava Golems are going to be here just to show you guys the hand count. They don't really do anything. And also, you need cards to, like, discard off uh, the Runic cards. And uh, it doesn't matter which card they are. So, like, it doesn't really contribute to, like, it being a four-card combo or whatever because it's just any card to discard. So, we'll show you guys uh, the combo right now. So, activate your first Runic card. Any Runic card doesn't really matter. Uh, get your Hugin. Then, activate effect, discard any blank. That could have been anything. Lava Golems are a sample for today. Uh, search uh, Fountain. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and activate the fountain normal summon the beaver and activate beaver's effect and i'll show you a combo got a combo with blue right after but we'll do beaver for now um it is weaker than blue but um very generic combo still so summon the beaver get out your angler and then here we can overlay the hugin and that the angler for uh gigantic sprite and gigantic sprite's effect so what's cool here is this is our fourth summon so it also plays around the bureau in the process too which is really really good all right, so uh, Gigantic will activate, and then this will summon our frog. As you can see here, this combo is like very generic uh, because you're, you're doing this combo without drawing a single sprite card. So as you can see, um, if I had a sprite card here, I would even go further, but this is just showing a sample without the sprite cards. And then now you have a board that looks like this. Now you can play your second runic card. Doesn't matter, you got uh, any runic card, so it's very generic, like uh, I've been saying. <laughs> Uh, and then now you can have your fountain and you get two draws. So go ahead and shuffle or put back in the bottom. Draw two. So now you have a three card hand size. And okay, these draws are insane. <laughs> but uh, that's an example that we didn't draw these two. You still have a three card hand after this. You want to link these two into your Bujin. So the Bujin uh, states the two monsters with the same level. So these two, Beaver and Hugin. And the effect is when it's linked summon. Or actually, sorry, I need to bounce this with this effect to its hand. Uh, whatever, I'm not going to redo it. <laughs> you guys get the idea. So you want to bounce the, the swap far back to the hand. Don't forget to do that, like me. And then when this card says, if this card is linked summon, you can supposed to summon two monsters with the same level. One from your hand and one from the gear, but negate their effects. And immediately after it resolves XYZ summon. So it doesn't matter because you're going to be summoning this, uh, the two monsters, which is going to be the two swaps. Their effects are negated, but who cares? Then immediately um, XYZ. And this will get you your toad. So that is toad, uh, gigantic. And then any three cards. If you had more runic cards, it'd be nice. If you had any sprite card, it would be even better because you would also get to smashers and get to an, uh, another card like a mannequin cat or the gin buster. But this is just a generic card, generic combo when you open like, the bad runics and beaver. So now I'll show you guys a combo with uh, the runic cards with blue, which gets even better. All right, so now we're going to go over the combo with uh, blue, obviously with two bad uh, runic cards, just to show you guys a sample of how the runic cards don't really matter. So let's get started. Kind of the same thing as before. Activate any runic spell. Doesn't matter which one. Activate effect. Discard any card. Doesn't matter which card. Search for a runic fountain. Uh, so activate our fountain. Search summon our blue. Blue will grab our jet. Uh, so we have jet in our hand. And then we're going to activate... Um, Jet's effect, and then Jet is going to search for our Smashers. So now we have another interruption, and here we can make a gigantic play around Nibiru once again. So it's pretty nice as these combos can play around that. Activate gigantic sprite effect, detaching one of the sprites, and then now we can summon our frog, kind of like we did last time. Frog will send our frog, and then here we can activate our second uh, slumber or a second runic card. I mean, summon another Hugin. And then now we get two free draws on top of us having Smasher. So now we actually get four cards instead of three, like last time, because uh, we do have the Smasher. So draw two. Cool. And then, oh, this is really nice because we actually drew another frog to summon from the Bujin. But we'll just proxy that. <laughs> All right. So here we can go and link these two. And now instead of going for the Bujin here, what we are going to do is going to go to our Sprint. So, this, so um, like before, like I said, we are playing the Sprint uh angler beaver package so now you want to go through that summon out sprint send the angler we all know this combo summon out the two uh beavers and then for example if this frog wasn't here at this point we'd have to bounce back the frog to the hand 
let's say assuming we didn't draw the, uh, the extra swap frog right then we want to link these two and then we want to make our uh, bujin uh, bujin states two monsters at any same level so the two beavers together and it doesn't have to do anything with summoning to its zone or anything so that's like really really nice and with effect then you can see the same thing summon the frog some of the other frog and then you can see where this is going overlay for the toad so now we have a four card hand a smashers that we searched a sprint uh bounce with their uh gigantic sprite and then fountain for like any runic card that we could potentially draw and this is like full combo and also in this entire combo we didn't use our normal summon anywhere so if you have like a beaver or um any two level twos like a uh, red or something with like a normal summon iperia whatever you can also end a gin buster or a mannequin cat as well on top of this combo so this combo is like one of the weaker ones uh the two combos i showed are actually some of the weaker combos just to show that the deck still works even if you draw like a subpar hand uh, and if i drew better let's say like i have a hand of like tip blue and starter i feel like i can end on the the entire full combo but that's like something for you guys to figure out because i'm pretty sure it's very easy to figure out if you have a starter uh sprite starter nimble beaver <laughs> runic tip uh so yeah that's it for this video i think this combo is very amazing i think this deck is a topic contender for the upcoming format uh like comment subscribe if you found it useful and i'll see you guys in the next one